both of us, we have uh, cystic fibrosis. And just over the course of time and our lives, the disease just progressed where our lung function fell to a point that we were needing transplant. We were, I was on oxygen and I know she was as well. Growing up, it wasn't too bad because I mean, we had regular routine treatments that we had to do, um, like nebulized treatments and physical therapy that we had to go through, but it wasn't really, didn't really impair social life or growing up or activities or anything. Like I was in sports, I played volleyball, basketball, track, because um, as long as you stayed active, it kept that your lungs clean because you were getting it out. So I started getting frequent, like, upper respiratory type infections, which is kind of how it starts um, my junior, senior year in high school. And then moving away to college, you kind of slow down and your workload is two times as much because you're trying to work and be social and go to school. And it just really took its toll. I was listed in May of 2000, and at that time, they found I needed to be on oxygen, so I was on oxygen at, at that point, and then I waited two years. The surgery went fine. Everything went as planned, no issues, no problems, and I was out of the hospital in 10 days. I was um, listed for transplant in March of 2004, and due to medical difficulties, I had a lot of... Um, multi-resistant infections to where they were running out of options to treat them. And this was still back when it was time waited on the list type of program. And um, I just, I was concerned, you know, I thought, well, I'm not gonna get pushed up the list and I'm not gonna make it two years. Most everybody I'd met had to wait two years. So, but I was reassured by the doctors and Rebecca and she kept asking me, are you ready yet? Do you have everything ready? And I'd say, whatever, Rebecca, it's not gonna happen that fast, you know? And it, it did, it happened, you know, nine months later. Rebecca Bathon, the social worker, she started to formalize a mentoring program. I think it was something informal. And she asked, with me being local, I was one of the few local, younger CF uh, patients in the area if I would uh, be willing to mentor other patients, people coming on. Taking time out to share your story, tell them what you went through. Uh, usually you have similar experience, or not always, but a lot of it is just educating uh, people who are going through the process about what it means to be transplanted and, and how you deal with that and all the things that come with that. Um, the biggest thing from my own experience, I know with Carrie's as well, is there's just a kind of fear of unknown. You're presented with this uh, huge um, obstacle or task to undertake, and, uh, and you don't know what. And so just the ability to meet somebody and say, oh, they're healthy, or oh, they've gone through it, or they, oh, they made it, is just a, a big relief for most patients going through, and then to be able to relate similar experiences. How do you handle that? What did he do? I called him eye candy when he met my family so that they could see what somebody post-transplant looked like. Yeah. Shortly after she was transplanted, uh, we decided that we wanted a date, so we started dating, which if we could. Yeah, if we could. It was we just slow. the doctors first. Yeah, everything had to go through doctors because of transmitting infections and... Because we're both being CF, you know, right. you can give each other something that might not, the other person may not handle like you do. So um, we asked and our doctor said, yeah, you can date, but keep it to emails for the first three yeah. months. <laughs> In July of 2005, the I propose, so. My birthday. She said yes. <laughs> we were, I mean, we were just so grateful and thankful. We did so many things that, you know, we, we'd sit there and say, you know, if before transplant, we wouldn't make it up the stairs to our condo. And we were 
kayaking, deep sea fishing, snorkeling for hours, and just doing... Just a little bit of hiking. Yeah, we're doing stuff that we never would have imagined possible before. Right.